Hey, Susan Ragsdale from Wright Creations Group. I want to talk about teaching virtually. First thing we're all encountering, whether you're a trainer, a facilitator, a teacher, or a youth worker, we're having to get our group comfortable with whatever platform we're using for our online communication. And uh, sometimes that's challenging. So I want to illustrate some ways to become familiar with the tech. So let's start with Zoom. When you're on Zoom, you could make a scavenger hunt out of the things that you're wanting them to know how to do. So maybe I bring up the whiteboard and it's got the little annotation bar and I'm kind of making it a contest. I'm like, okay, you're gonna go looking for the star. Who's the first person who can find the star? And when they first person to find it, click on it on the whiteboard. And the first person who does that, you can figure out who it is, give them a point or a round of applause, and then move on to the next thing. Okay, this time you're looking for the text tool. You're gonna to click it, click on the whiteboard and put, hi, this is so-and-so. And then you can applaud that person. You can cycle back at any time to any of these features. Who did the drawing tool? Where's that star? just to have them play with it, find it, become familiar, instead of sitting there going, if you look across the bar, you'll see here's the first feature, here's the second. Telling them is one thing, but letting them get their hands into it and experience it is another, and it'll help embed it uh, a, a lot more quickly. You can do the same thing with the reaction buttons, the thumbs up, the thumbs thumbs down, the raising the hand feature if you're using the chat on the side, sending a chat to everyone. You can play with all of those and just make it into a scavenger hunt game. So that's the first method. The second method, and I'm going to use uh, tablets and phones to illustrate the point, and then you can translate into whatever platform you have and what tools are available for you. So let's say um, we have a notes feature. We're familiar with that. You send them to the notes feature and you say, I want you to reflect on two things you're grateful for from the day. Write those in there as your reflection. So they're writing them in or typing them in to their notes feature. And then you could have them email them to you because sometimes we need to make sure that parents or the staff team knows our email and how to find us and where to go if they have questions. So have them email to you the two things they're grateful for from the day. So you know you've gotten their email and then you're also learning a little bit about your group from that activity. Next, you could send them to their photos or their gallery of photos and say, look through the last three or four pictures you've taken. What is it about these pictures? Why did you take them? Why was it important for you to capture that moment? And you'll see, we reflected on the day, now we're thinking about these pictures and why they're important. I'm actually, in teaching the tools, getting them ready for a training on reflection. So you can match your content that way too. So they can look through the pictures and then they can just share out loud. They can even hold up their phone and show the pictures uh, and talk about it. Then you can use the text feature, the messenger feature, uh, look through who, what was the last couple of people that they had a conversation with, and um, what did they want to remember about that conversation? Was it funny? Was it something meaningful that got accomplished? Or was it who they were talking to? And then finally, you could like go into contacts and have them look at the first three contacts that come up, or if they hit the recent button to see who they've talked to recently, to reflect on them and, and even ask the question, who are your go-to people when you're sad? Who are your go-to people when you need to work through problems? Again, as you can see by all my questions, they were intentional about reflection, but I was also teaching them the tech tools and getting them familiar. So that's an example of using that. You'll have to play in your platform, whatever it is, and figure out ways that you can connect it, but you can teach tech and do content to move you towards what you're doing. And if you want more ideas on reflection, check out our book, Great Group Reflections. Ann Saylor and I wrote that, and we just love the ideas in there because they're all a variety of ways of learning. Hope you like this. If you know other youth workers, teachers, educators, trainers, who could HR folks who could use these ideas, 
Please share, subscribe, and we will continue to put out things to try and help us all.